Hey guys, welcome to your 20 minute cardio and core workout. Now, all you need is your body because we're just gonna use body weight today. We're gonna go between cardio drills and core movements. Everything is gonna be focused on really strengthening the core. So even the cardio moves are really focused on using different muscles in our core. So if you're doing this live, make sure to say hi. I can see all your comments up nice and big. And if you're doing this on replay, you know the drill. I can see you. All right, you guys, we're going to start with a nice warm up. So I want you to take a big deep breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Good. Another big deep breath in and exhale. And I want you to go into squats and then you're going to come up overhead and open the chest. And we're going to start here for the first 30 seconds. Good. Nice big opening of the chest. Open up and expand the lungs. Take deep breaths and exhale. Good. Come up on the toes when you're ready. Great job. Today's gonna be super fun. It's for all levels. So I'll be showing a high impact and low impact version when we're in our cardio drill sets. So anyone can do this and you can progress with it the more you do it. Good, okay, lateral lunges side to side. Starting to get into that lower body. Very nice work. Sinking a little bit deeper every set. Great job, I say every rep. One set, deeper every rep. Good, chest up. Now I want you to start to set an intention for today's workout. And that intention can be anything. It can be to simply finish. It could be to push yourself a couple extra seconds than you thought you could do. An extra rep here and there. And that way, every time you come back, you set a new goal. I always want these workouts to have longevity in your routine. If you like it, make sure you save it, come back to it. All right, we are gonna do an inchworm to warm up to a side plank rotation. So come out, rotate both directions, starting to really wake up the core. You will see a plank rotation in one of our core sets. So this is gonna be a great way to warm that up. Reach up, good, keep going. On the next set, I will show you a knee option if you'd like, but stay on the toes if you can for the warm up. Good, so your plank knee option you just drop a knee, pop up the top leg, and you can use that when we get into our working sets. Good, all right, go ahead and finish your last rep. Come up on top, and we're gonna start with little twist hops here. And this is gonna wake up our core a little bit more, and you're gonna see this movement in one of our cardio sets. If you want low impact, you just twist on those tippy toes, use your core, use your abs. Good, and then this is the jump, perfect. All right, last few here. Good morning, drone. Yeah, do it tomorrow. Now you already got one in the queue, ready to rock. Okay, take some knees across here for 10 seconds. We'll switch for 10 seconds. And again, these are all moves. Reach up higher when you can. These are all moves that are gonna come back in our cardio set that you will see. Switch, reach up, drive that knee across. Great work. You feeling like you're already getting going, right? And that's perfect because warm-up's over. Take your 30 seconds, come back out to the floor, and I'm gonna show you your first cardio move. Here are the way the blocks are gonna work today. Two cardio moves, one core move, we move on. Then we'll do some fun cardio, excuse me, fun core superset at the end. Hi, Foreman, good afternoon to you too. Okay, 10 seconds. Your first move, single, single, knee across and we alternate. Yes? All right, here we go. 30 seconds, come with me. Single, single, double. Whew. This is a great move to transition from our warm-up. Start to get into our cardio circuits. Whew. Now how you make this a little bit more is you start jumping on those two center knees. Hit, hit, and then oblique. I told you, core focused here. Good, five more seconds. I'm gonna move you into a twist low jack right away. Here we go. Twist, tap, other way. Twist, tap. Low impact, you just step it here. Tap, otherwise, twist, tap. Whew. Good, boom, feel the core. Boom, yes. Hi, great. I'm glad you guys are all saying hi and what's up and making the intention to do this tomorrow. I love it. Whew. Make sure you come back when you do it. Let me know in the comments how you did. All right, take a 15 second break. We're gonna now go into our first 
core move. So I want you to come down on your back to start. And I'm watching the clock. You got five seconds. You're going to bring both legs up, both arms up. Alternate arm leg drop. Here we go. One full minute. So reach nice and long. Now, the, the way you modify this, if you want a little bit easier on the core, you just don't go as far. And I should say option. As the word modification came out of my mouth, I'm like, no, 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 no. Modification is not exactly the way I want to communicate that because modification sounds like it is less than. But guess what? Anything you do that is going to be the right move for your body, it's not a modification. It's the option that works for you today. And then you just pick the option every time you come back and do this workout. <sighs> that works for you at that moment in time. And that's the way you progress. You got to learn to get really in tune with your body, focus on where you feel it, make sure you feel it in the right spots, not your low back. Good. Last three, two, one, come on up. All right, in between your sets, because we're now going into block number two, I want you to give me a nice step and twist. So you're just catching your breath, shaking it out, and we're going to repeat the same formula with three new moves. So your next set, we're actually going to come back down to the ground. You have 10 seconds. I'm going to have you look at me first so you can see what our move is. I want you to start with your legs a little wider. Come down with me and jack diagonal knees across. Yes, get in position. We're going to start in just a couple more seconds. I want to make sure you get your full set. Hi, Bowflex. Yes. Okay, ready? Diagonal knee plank jack. Cross, open, cross, open. Whew. Whew. Option, just diagonal knee, driving across your body. Otherwise, hit, open, jack. And when you feel like you have more maybe stamina or just more strong core strength, you can speed it up. 30 seconds. You're coming up on your last five, and you're going to stand up. Three, two, one, pop up. High knee rotation. So nice, solid landing as you go side to side. Here's your option. If you're going to take the low impact option, I want bigger arms, but we're twisting. So even when you're here, it's here, here. Then when you have it, speed it up. Yes? Good morning, A. Logan. Good morning, exercise. <laughs> I love it. So right here is your option two, three, two, one. 15 second break. We're going to now go down into our plank rotations, as I mentioned. So high plank. When we rotate, we're going to pull a knee. So come down. Five seconds. Ready? Come with me. Rotate. Knee pull. Center. Switch. Hold. Knee pull. Center. Switch. You're here for a minute. Here's your knee option. There is no need to go fast on this one. The core positioning and the core block, I should say, is all about stability, building strength. And for that matter, we're here for a minute. Try a couple on your toes. You can even skip the knee and just hit rotations. Really find that solid ground as you rotate and then switch. And then when you're ready, we add that knee pull. Good. Nice, solid bodies. 15 more seconds. Hold. Pull. Good. Feel like a complete pillar of strength. So your nice, straight body all the way head to toe. All right. Go ahead and stand up. Take a breather. Block two. Done. Block three. Okay, this is our last block with cardio moves. And then we have a core kicker at the end to really solidify that core musculature. Okay, this is all boxing inspired. Good night, I like it. <laughs> okay, this is all boxing inspired, so watch. One, two, three, four, zigzag four. I want you to really tighten up your abs, punch hard, crunch hard. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> then zigzag. Good. Hit, 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 hit. Crunch. <laughs> Crunch your abs. Nice. One, two, three, four. Crunch. Perfect. Hit, 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 hit. I would say that this block 
you're ready for it, and it's one of my favorites. I love boxing. And we're gonna actually do some kickboxing in our next one. You have five seconds. We're gonna do front push kicks. <laughs> All right, go into it. Reach up high, front push. I'm gonna show you from the side. <laughs> the reason this is still a core move is because you're chambering your knee, you're pushing through, crunching those really, really deep abdominals. <laughs> Once you have it, kick out with a little bit more intensity. Good, I'm just showing you from the side so you guys can keep that reminder that I want you to chamber and push. Whew. Nice job. You're almost there. Three, two, one, 15 second break. Okay, we're going back down to the ground. Up and down also raises the heart rate. So as we go through those core moves, heart rate is going up and down. Come down to a supine position. I like to call these sweeping Vs. So we're gonna come up to a V, here we go. Side to side, one side, sweep, other side. Now the sweep, there's an opportunity the further your legs are away from your body to push a little harder. Nice job, beautiful work. <sighs> sweep, lift. Can you try to exhale right here? <sighs> and think about tying that to a tighter core. So as I exhale, I'm pushing my air out and I'm tightening my core, pulling my belly button in. Good, you guys are doing fantastic and we are cruising through this workout. You look strong, <sighs> keep it up. Lift, perfect, <sighs> 10 more seconds. <sighs> if you start to fatigue, option is not to extend quite as far. Good, last three, two, one, come on up. All right, what was our holder move? This is kind of the in-between. It keeps your energy high, it keeps the body moving, and it's stretching out through the abs and the core. I'm gonna show you some really good stretches at the end today, so make sure you stick around on how to keep that movement going throughout the day. Okay, are you ready for our kickers? I like to call these fire rounds, because at the end it's just rapid fire. We're gonna start with core, and then we can't leave cardio hanging, right? I can't, I can't favor one over the other. So we will start with core and then we'll close it out with cardio. So I want you to come back down to the ground and we're gonna go all three moves back to back. So get into that supine position once again. That first move was alternating arm and leg. All right, in 15 seconds, here's your preview. Make sure you keep a nice tightness in your core. If you feel anything in your back, that's your cue to take a break and just bring your knees into your chest, come back when ready. Okay, arms and legs, go to work, reach. Whew. Extend. Good, arms stay at the top and then drop. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Good, if you wanna add a little bit of shol shoulder mobility, you can even open up at a diagonal. Just make sure it doesn't throw off your core work. And then knees further away from your body are gonna be a little harder. But if you wanna come out at an angle, that's also going to help stretch your chest. Good. It's also a little harder because it's a further angle away from the muscle we're working. So the longer the lever, the more the core has to support. Good, we're almost there. Perfect. All right, flip over. Side plank rotation. Here we go. Perfect. Switch. Reach up. Pull it through. Find your balance. Nice job. Sweep. Pull. Good. All right, we're doing 45 seconds each. You probably saw that from the first set. If not, just so you know. So I gave you a little bit of time back but not a lot. I wanna make sure you get solid sets here today. If you notice, whew, we really don't take many breaks in these 20 minutes purposefully. That way we get the most out of our time together and you know if you push play on a 20 minute with me, it's gonna be worth it. Okay, on your back, sweeping Vs. Last 45 seconds, do it. Whew. Good, sweep it, extend, squeeze. Nice work. Feel those obliques. There should be no tension in the neck. If there is, try to repurpose it down to the core or don't extend as much or don't come as high. Good, you're almost there. You got 15 seconds, you're gonna pop up. I'll finish a couple more with you. 
We'll get a little breather, grab a sip of water, and then let's finish with some cardio today. Just know you're gonna feel amazing when we are done. Good, last three, two, one. Knees in, here's a great way to come up. Rock up, good. Now come up to standing. All right, grab your sip of water. I'm gonna join you. I'm a big advocate of drink water throughout your workout, just tiny sips. That way you stay hydrated the entire time. And it's just a great practice, right? Okay, let's go ahead and run those cardio moves. Now, I'm gonna shorten the time a little bit, just like I did with the core work, and we're gonna go 20, 10, 20, 10, and run it through one time. If you recall, we got six movements. It's gonna go by like this. I want all of your effort, laser focus, push your body. If your intention was to increase and step your game up a little bit, right now is go time. Knees up, knee, knee across, come on. 20 seconds, that's it. Salamomex. <laughs> I love all the names. Guess what? It's okay. If you're tired, that's good. You want your exercise to be challenging. Just do your best. Just keep moving your body. Okay, step touch for 10 seconds. We're going into our next move. If you recall, it is our twist to low jack. So just move your body. No stress. Here we go. Twist, tap. Twist, Tap, twist, tap. It's like you're giving a little elbow nudge. And guess what? It's like any self-doubt, knock it out. Come on, twist, tap. Good, five seconds. You got this. I'm gonna cross that finish line with you. Step touch. Okay, 10 seconds, moving on to block two. Exercise number three. We're gonna go into our, where am I at? Oh, plank jack, come down, here we go. <sighs> Alternate those knees, drive it in. Come on, this is our last set. This one's definitely a core activator. 10 more seconds. <sighs> there you go. Nice, five more seconds, you're gonna pop up. Guess what, this is your halfway point. You guys look amazing. <sighs> Come on up, high knee rotation. I was trying to take you here. I can't miss that plank jack, that one's actually my favorite. Okay, knees coming up, high knee rotation. 20 seconds, that's all I need, come on. There we go. Can you pull your abs in a little tighter? Don't stop. Don't stop. This is not stopping. That's just taking the impact out. Yeah, that 10 seconds of rest does a body good, right? Good. Three, two, one. Step touch. Two more exercises left. Boxing inspired. Four punches. Zigzag. Core tight. Come on. Ready to knock out. Any excuses, go. One, two, three, four. Can you zigzag lower with me? Make sure it's core and lower body. Good, no back. Whew. Very nice. You know I love boxing, because I always think about something I really want to knock out. Negative energy, anything, Just boom, get it out. Yes, okay, 10 seconds. Now, if you didn't box it out, we're gonna kick it out right now for your last 20, then we're gonna stretch it out and feel amazing. Here we go, guards up, push. Whew. 10 seconds, you wanna make it harder? Reach and pull. Whew. Nice job, very nice, come on. I'm right here with you. Reach up a little bit higher, you got this. The success you're gonna feel in five seconds. Keep pushing, and you're done. Hey, piece of cake. Do you ever notice that when it's over, it seems easier than when you're in it, right? Try to remember that when you're in it, especially when you're with me, because I'm always gonna give you something that's manageable, and I'm always gonna give you options so you can complete it. So put that fear out, give me your trust, I got you. All right, I mentioned I was gonna give you some cool stretches that are gonna help your low back, similar to that windmill, yeah? Okay, here's a very cool one if you sit a lot. Grab your arm, elbow over elbow, and I want you to shake side to side and travel up and go up however far your shoulders let you and make your way back down. You know, I've been giving you little things that you can do throughout the day. Here's another one. This is a great way to shake out if you've been sitting for a long period. So use this. Good, feel your spine just ring out all the way from the base, all the way to the top. Good, and then we'll hit that next stretch, diagonal. These two alone, 
if you can commit to doing them multiple times throughout the day, they're going to change the way you feel. Switch. <sighs> Don't believe me? Try it for one week and then let me know. You can drop it in this workout. Let me know how you feel. Very nice. And if you want to do some extra credit, take your hands behind your back. You can stretch your chest too. All the chest, always tight. <sighs> Great job today, you guys. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy that you commit to your body and you show up for your body. It's really commendable. So appreciate your body as well. Let's take two big deep breaths in and then you're on your way. Deep breath, lift. Exhale. <sighs> nice. Last big deep breath in. Lift it up. And then let it go. <sighs> Put your hands together. Great job, team. Today was really fun, and I look forward to Thursday. Same time, same place, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Make it a great day. Grab a friend, and I'll see you Thursday. Bye.